Hello, you dirty potters. How are you today? Well, 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 Diamond Core. Look how the turns have tabled. This video is going to be pretty simple. For those of you who keep up with the channel, you probably remember this video where I suggested five things that your Potter friend might want for Christmas. I didn't release it too long ago. It's probably about two or three weeks ago by this point. But as some of you might remember, I talked about the Diamond Core Company, a company that makes excellent ceramic artwork tools in that video out of like two out of the five of those gifts. In the video, I was talking about some of the stuff that I plan on buying later throughout the year at Diamond Core, or at least some of the stuff that I wanted for Christmas. I don't want much for Christmas, but when I do want stuff, it's, 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 pre it's pretty much pottery related. And guess what came in the mail oh, yesterday? Yeah. You see that? You see how that part's blocked out right there? That's because I don't trust you. So in this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing of some of the stuff that Diamond Core sent me. Thank you very much, Diamond Core. They're technically not a sponsor of the channel, although this would be the steps that you take. Like, if a channel sponsored me, they would give me an item and then I would review it on camera. I was going to buy these items and review them on camera for my subscribers anyway, so that they can get information on the tools before they buy them. But also, it's, it's kind of like we're dating, but like we're not officially, you know, together we're just doing the stuff that like would imply we're together so in today's video we're just gonna be opening this up I'm gonna be looking at some of the tools and I'll probably explain along the way what some of the tools do and why I asked them for the tools that I asked them for keep in mind diamond core is not a sponsor of mine I mean sure diamond core we're not dating you're not a sponsor of mine but you keep asking me to come over whenever your mom's not home and you keep on showering me with gifts and texting me at 1 a.m. so like what are we So they kind of already told me what they sent me. This looks like the sand disc. I'm pretty sure this is the sand disc. As for this stuff right here, oh, yo, check it out. They use Ranpak material just like I do. This material is called Ranpak and it's one of my favorite things to wrap my pottery. If you've ever bought something from my website, you probably know that I love this material. I always pack my pottery in this. I use this myself actually. So when I'm done with this, I'm probably gonna end up just saving it for the next delivery. Okay, so this looks like, oh wow, that's nice. I didn't know that they came in like this little protective kind of layer. So here is the avocado trim tool. As we talked about on the previous episode, the Christmas episode essentially, this is their avocado trim tool. This is essentially the high-end version of the pear trim tool that comes from Kemper Tools. You know, the one that comes in like the beginner package of pottery tools. The only difference is this is a diamond core. Oh, look, oh, it has etching in it. Oh, this will probably add a little bit more grip to it as I use it. So this is what I'm probably going to end up using for trimming my actual pots. Many of you know that I, I kind of love my mud tools and my pear trim tools, but the avocado trim tool, it's from Diamond Core. So we're going to review this and compare it to the other two trim tools that I usually use and see how this one works out. So what I usually do is I use the pear trim tool that usually comes in like the beginner package of trim tools. This is just the higher end version. This is the black carbon steel one. I've gone over this a million times in the channel. This is kind of the upgrade to the beginner package version, right? This one is just a higher quality. This is, I mean, technically the low end version of this. The only difference is Diamond Core calls it an avocado trim tool instead of a pear trim tool, even though they're pretty much the same exact shape. So this will replace this. We're going to do a little review, just see which one is better. I'll probably buy a brand new one of these in order to kind of compare a brand new tool to a brand new tool. But this one you can see is super used by me. So over here is a carving tool. This is, I think they're, they're like arrow or diamond shape carving tool i'm not really sure they have a bunch of different ones of these on their website and this also has that same type of etching pattern in the handle this probably serves for functionality as far as i'm concerned because it, it is for grip but it also just kind of honestly looks really pretty actually a little bit excited to have one of these because i've never had a real carving tool a real high quality carving tool all to myself before i'm more of a potter than i am a sculptor so i don't carve that much but as i've started carving recently in the last year a lot of my work whenever you see me do stuff like this on the channel what usually happens is i'll just get like 
a sculptor's tool and I'll just turn it around and start using this or if I want to get more of an edge I'll start using the edge of this right here and I'll just ignore this part here so I technically don't have an official carving tool other than the one that diamond core just sent me I've, I've been I've basically been using what some people use to trim their clay normally as a carving tool and it is quite difficult so I'm I'm super excited to see how this works out and I'm pretty sure there was one more thing yeah oh there's two more things two more things this here looks like they're diamond grit scrub pads let's take a gander at this I thought it would be a little bit bigger but you know what for the quality of what you're getting oh wow oh wow okay so that's actual diamond grit I mean I knew I know I knew it was actual I know I know what the company is called guys shut up when you go to diamondcoretool.com, you end up seeing one of these, right? And you think like, oh, it just must be a really powerful version of like sandpaper. It's it's meant to sand down parts of your pots. But you turn it around and I didn't see the back on the description page. So I was like, oh, it's no, that's that looks like actual diamond grit. They were not kidding. I, I knew they weren't kidding. I want to like I said it in the video that it's diamond grit. But also, I, I'm just kind of amazed that. They actually put diamonds in tools. Pretty happy to have this because what I've been doing for quite some time is I've been getting my stuff, right? I've been getting my products and I've been getting sandpaper and basically sanding them down before I put them out in the world. Before I send them off to wherever they need to go, I basically sand down all my stuff, okay? This, you don't have to keep buying these. These last for a very, very long time. Once you sand like maybe seven or eight pots on this little piece of sandpaper. This is done. This this essentially is useless. You used up all the grit on it. But like every good brainwashed American in the world, I know for sure that diamond is forever. These things are meant to not die out quickly. I'm pretty sure a friend of the channel, Lindsay M. Dillon, has one of these herself, and she talks about it all the time. She loves this thing. Um, this is amazing. I can essentially never buy sandpaper again as long as I don't lose or break this but I wouldn't lose this because it's super valuable and how would I break diamond? What is this? What is what is in this box? I, are these replacements? These are replacements. Is that, is that what it, oh, I get it. Okay, so these, these are essentially replacements for these, see? So when one of them gets too dull or if it breaks, you can just very easily replace it. Okay, I see. So these are these are interchangeable. I didn't know that. That no, that makes sense though because the tools themselves look like very basic. Like these are basically the same exact stick. The only difference is the tool on the top. So it would make sense that there would be yeah. See there it is. It makes sense that there's like screws and things you can take off so that you can change them out. Okay, that's actually pretty smart. This way you can just buy replacements from the company, I bet. That way you don't have to buy the entire tool over again. Okay, that's amazing. I didn't even think about that. Thank you, Diamond Core, for the replacement tools. I didn't, I don't know if you send these with every purchase of a tool anyway, but I do appreciate it. Okay, let's open this big boy up now. Wait, hold on, is this entire thing straight down? Oh my God, it is. Remember that one time, like maybe three minutes ago, where I was freaking out because this is actual diamond material? Okay, they sent me an entire bat with with sand disc on it. Wow. This is actually quite expensive too. I'm pretty surprised they sent me one of these. I mean, thank you so much, Diamond Core. I'll pretty much never need to buy one of these again in my entire life, most likely. So this is extra important as opposed to this, because there's probably some of you right now who are like, why would you have a bigger version of the smaller thing? Yeah, it might take a little more work, but this is specifically used for scrubbing down parts of your pots, right? If you want to sand any part of your pots, if I want to make the foot nice and smooth before I send it out from my website, if I want to use this, this is good for smaller spots. This here is meant to literally grind off parts of your pots. I'm pretty sure I have a cup around here that needs to be ground off. Yeah, here it is. So when I was trying to develop some of my crystal glazes, my glazes ended up running pretty bad. Crystal glazes are almost notorious for running if you don't have the recipe down exactly. And when you develop them, you're gonna get some mistakes. This ended up running down to the bottom of my pots and just making this kind of gross fusion in between some of the kiln shelf and some other clay bodies and the actual cup itself, making it non-functional. I can't sell this on my website. I can't give this as a gift. This is pretty much my own personal cup now. But do you know what would get this off? 
basically sanding the heck out of it with a material made of diamond. This is probably the thing that I'm most excited about if I'm being honest with you. Okay, so here's the plan for the YouTube channel. We're gonna do a review comparison on this carving tool. I'm just gonna compare it to a regular old trim tool like one of these because this is what I have been using. We're also gonna do a comparison on the avocado trim tool fighting the pear trim tool itself. We're gonna see how a brand new one of these stands up to a brand new one of these. And then I'm also gonna do a video on how to sand down your pots. It's gonna be a very short video. You pretty much just put one of these or a piece of sandpaper to the bottom of your pots and sand them down. It makes a world of difference. Try it, take your pot directly out of the kiln, touch the bottom, sand it down, touch it again, you'll notice a world of difference. And I'm probably not gonna do a review video on this because this is pretty self-explanatory if you already know how to do this. This is just the, the ultimate version of this, if I'm being honest with you. I might do a chill video. I have a playlist where I just throw to background music and I don't talk at all. There's there's no links, there's no nothing like that. There's no ads. It's literally just me doing what I do with a camera on. So I might do one of those while I'm grinding down these pots. But thank you guys very much for joining me today and thank you Diamond Core Tools for sending me this stuff. I wasn't really expecting this when I sent out that video. I asked them to be my sponsor maybe like three months ago and they said no and then I released the video and they were like, oh, oh, oh hold on. You weren't kidding, you, you were serious. Okay, now that we know you're not lying. So again, thank you very much Diamond Core Tools. I appreciate it a lot. I'm gonna do a review on these. Thank you Dirty Potters for joining me today. If you'd like to see any more of my artwork, the links are always down below for your beautiful Potter eyes to see. The Facebook, the Instagram where the pretty pottery pictures are, my actual website where I have a blog and a bunch of stuff I sell of my own work. You, you know, you click all the buttons, you know where all the buttons are, the like and the subscribe. You're smart, you already know how YouTube works. That being said, I love your Dirty Potter faces and I will see you guys next week. Thank you for your patronage. We're getting into some serious bling territory with the throwing around of these diamonds.